Mark, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, Mark, tell me a little bit more about the company and the assets you have. So Mandalay Resources buys Citrus assets and turns them around. We buy where we can see an immediately accretive transaction with the potential for a 3x value uplift within three to five years. We've done this three times through the complete cycle in the last seven years, and in that have produced um, outsized shareholder returns. So you have a tried and tested um, formula that you're using. Yes. Tell us a little bit about the assets and, and what so you're focused on at the so moment. The, so the first asset that we acquired was the uh, Costerfield Gold Antimony Mine in the gold fields of Victoria, Australia. Um, that has been, uh, we acquired that with no reserves, no employees, no customers. Promptly reopened it, been mining consistently for seven years. It's far exceeded its 3x value uplift, and we have at least three to four years left with the next door body after that showing up um, in drill holes right now. Um, the second ore body we acquired was the Cerebio uh, Silver Gold Project in southern Patagonia, Chile. Uh, again, that was a restart coming out from the global financial crisis. We bought that for a rock bottom $1 million cash, 5 million shares, sorry, 15 million shares, roughly worth $5 million at the time, and 125,000 ounces of a silver loan payable out of production. Um, those two mines, Costerfield and Cerebio, were hitting on all cylinders when prices came up out of the global financial crisis. And we were producing for three years with antimony at $16,000 a ton. It bottomed out at five. Gold was $1,600 an ounce, and silver was $30 to $35 an ounce. Through those three years, we paid back all our, our vendor debt, our startup loan, um, we um, we bought back shares, we redeemed warrants for shares, and we started our dividend policy. So it was a very important time to stay focused and not buy when prices were high. When prices came back down again, we most recently bought the Bjorkdal gold mine in northern Sweden, and now two and a half, three years later, it's coming into its own. We've added great control to already low per ton costs to drive up the head grade by about 50%. So what's next, Mark? Next is, is uh, well, there's a couple things. One is Cerebio um, has been put on care and maintenance due to a flooding event that in which we did not lose any reserves. It was uh, already in a mined out vein, but it did um, in, or kill two people. And, um, and there are other mines under the lake, which are fully developed and they were producing at the time. They're unaffected, but we need to re-permit those uh, for, for a safe restart and two others. So we're not gonna restart that mine until we get all the permits uh, for all four veins left in the, in the four-year mine plan. So what's and while we're doing that, we're looking for the next acquisition. So what's the message to shareholders and current investors at the, at the present time? Well, the current investors who've been with us the longest have actually been buying up on the way down. Um, and you know, they know that the big boost in share price is when we identify and capture one of these distressed assets. Um, we have a, a organic growth. The, 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 the downside of a turnaround strategy is once you've turned assets around, you're waiting around for the next one because there's not that much growth between between asset, between acquisitions. And that's where we are right now. I want to assure you that we're seeing potentially accretive acquisitions even at our current distressed share price. And we're working hard to, to bring you one. And so what's the, the purpose of being at one-to-one uh, -one mining in London today? London has been a very important shareholder base for us since day one. Our CFO lives in London, our chairman used to, is now shuttling back and forth. Um, we've had strong shareholder support for all our acquisitions uh, from this base, and this is the, the best place we can come to to catch up with them all at the same time. Well, thank you very much for your time today. All right.